traders and in this video we will be focusing on how I combine two separate indicators um, the average true range coupled with the volatility indicator Bollinger Band and how I use this combination uh, to filter out my entries as well as understand when we have out of the box move and it's a good time to book out some partial or full profits to do that I have um, the daily chart of Tata Steel open in front of me and uh, first I bring in the average true range. <clears throat> average true range and in this case I'm going to plot just one period. Uh, the one period average true range is essentially going to give us uh, not exact but to a lot of extent an understanding about the range of that particular one bar. So I'm going to add some more space to my uh, subgraph. So make it three. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> this is the average true range of one period. And as I can see over here on the last candle, its value is around 11.85 means not exact, but it means that the last candlestick, which we have over here, the high low difference is close to 11.85 points. Uh, that's not the exact definition of how uh, ATR calculates itself, but I'm not going to go into the details of the formula of ATR, but for basic understanding, it gives you the range of one particular bar. Now, as you can see that this value is extremely choppy and the one period ATR moves up and down. It shoots up, it goes up as the candlesticks become wider and it comes down, cools off as the range contracts. Now this fact of range contraction and expansion is very, very natural. We cannot do without it. So if you, ha if you have smaller sized candlesticks, you will see that the ATR will be on the lower side or falling, means the range is contracting. And after contraction, the inevitable is a range expansion, which means that the candlesticks are wider, longer, and this will be uh, reflected by a spike in the value of one period ATR. So ATR rising is an expansion, ATR falling is a contraction. A trader would always want to know uh, when the market is contracted because after a contraction comes an expansion. Now, to understand this further, and to make most use of it, we need to bring in a concept of a relativity to it. See, the value of 11.85, which is right now, means nothing. Um, it could have been 31.85, it could have been 1.85. Now, is 11.85 a high number or a low number or as an average number? How do we know this? To understand this, we need to bring in some relativity, the concept of relativity into it. And what will I do? is I will plot a Bollinger Band and we all know that the default time period of Bollinger Bands is a 20 period average and we take a two standard deviation on top and below that uh, mean. Now what I'll do is I'll just change these colors a little bit and let's say dark gray and I'm going to plot it on top of the ATR not on price. I'm going to take the input as ATR and not closing price. So what I'll have is a Bollinger Band plotted on the ATR of the ATR. So when the ATR is outside the upper Bollinger Band, which is a red line, this means that this is an exceptional move and this range is outside the two standard deviation. The middle line is the 20 period average, which sinks in really well with the daily chart because in a daily chart, we have around um, or in one month, we have around 20 to 22 days of trading. So we've taken a 20 day average when we are plotting the Bollinger Band, which sinks in really well because this average gives me the monthly range. So if I now come and look at the values, I see that the average is 13.55. So it tells me that on an average over the last rolling 20 days, the average range of Tata Steel has been around 13 to 13 and a half points, at times higher, at times lower, but the average is 
now you bring in 11.85 now you see that 11.85 is below 13.5 it means that the current range of Tata Steel is below its average so it is the range over the last few days had been sub average means the range has been on the lower side yes it's been going up and down but on an average it's been below the monthly range so sooner or later we can expect some kind of an expansion and a heated up expansion or a really sharp expansion is when it is above the two standard deviation and a very very um, extreme contraction is when it inches very very close to the lower Bollinger Band when it comes really close to the lower Bollinger Band that means that the candlestick is extremely short or small and you can expect a move a classical use of this can be with the inside bar trading strategy you remember that uh, when you have one candle inside another candles range you have an inside bar something like this okay this entire range of this green candle is inside the range of this red candle and if you and if you use any kind of a breakout strategy here what you would love to see is on this day the contraction should be as extreme as possible it means that if the market moves out it's going to likely to give you a big sharp move so the way I use it is if I get um, two possible trades and I have to take any one if I have to filter them I would always go with the one where I have a uh, range contraction I would like to see the one ATR below the monthly range I would also like to see that the ATR is dropping in this case Tata Steel ATR is rising so the best case is below the average and it's dropping now if I am uh, live on a trade and all of a sudden it goes my way and I notice that there's been a spike in ATR and that spike by spike or by uh, I can't say that ATR has gone up abruptly now what has gone up abruptly so what I can say is it's hit its uh, two, two standard deviation on the upside it means that this is out of the box move and if, I've, if I'm sitting on this trade and making money it makes sense that I act upon this probably book some partial profits trail your stop loss or probably book out completely so the concept of short term range expansion and contraction combine that with the fact of uh, volatility of this contraction expansion can give us a clear understanding where we stand right now is it a contracted market if yes then how much and whether it's an expanded market or not if it's an expanded market doesn't make sense to chase it makes sense to you know wait on the sidelines and wait for the right opportunity to trade I hope that this video was useful for you uh, a different approach a unique approach but it's worked for me doesn't work all the time you might see that the stock sitting two two standard deviation on the upside two three bars at a time but it gives me a clear understanding in terms of what I can expect in terms of range or points from a particular stock or the market. I hope it works for you as well as it's been working for me. Till then everyone, trade well, trade wise.